Hello there, Dean the Gadget Man back. I know it's been a while, but uh, my home studio kind of changed a little bit. I moved and um, I'm back. So, with my first um, review back, I'm going to be reviewing the V7 360 degree LED car laser radar detector. So, it comes from Russia. It comes in this little box here. Open it up. So we have the radar detector. We have a anti-skid mat. We have the car charging cable. And I actually like this because there's a switch to turn it on and off. On my one car, um, the lighter jack stays on all the time so um, you would want to turn this off when you're not in the car or drain the battery my other car shuts off when you shut the car off so <clears throat> and we have the instructions that are in the most part in Russian and um, very vague in English and microscopic but I do see from the instructions that it not only detects uh, radar from a, a police car that have radar traps set up, but it um, also detects uh, security cameras, speed trap cameras, um, uh, speed radar cameras, intersection cameras, it detects all that stuff. There are two different modes. There's city mode and there is highway mode. In city mode, the detection is not quite as strong. It, in, it anticipates uh, you driving at a slower rate. And therefore, uh, the, the alarm goes off a bit later. Um, on highway mode, the alarm is very sensitive. If somebody has a, has a security camera in their house nearby, it'll pick it up. It's a 360 degree detector. It has a detector in the top to go at the top of the window. And it has two in the front. And of course, the screen's in the very back. We'll show you that later when we get in the car. It only has two controls. When you plug it in, it's on. There's nothing else. Speakers here in the bottom. Very hard to uh, understand, by the way. Menu switches between city mode and highway mode. If you hold it down for more than five seconds, it switches between Russian and English. So if for some reason uh, you buy one of these and it's in Russian, you hold it down for a couple minutes and it goes to English. And also if you're fooling with this and you accidentally hold it down too long and it goes to Russian, you'll know to switch it back to English. There's also an up and down, that's volume only. Volume down, volume up. All right. So I am going to put on my handy dandy video glasses from a previous review and we will go outside and uh, take a spin in the car and see how the sucker works. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, here's the glasses that I'm going to try out and we're also going to check out the radar detector. So I'm going to put these on over top of my glasses so that I can actually see. There we go. That should be okay. Okay, let's go out to the car. Oh, it's raining out. I did not know that. Okay, let me... Okay. So... So here's the radar detector, and I'm going to turn it on. So when the GPS starts, please fasten your safety belt. Um, city mode. There's a city mode, 
and there is a highway mode. Highway mode is a lot more sensitive and gives you a bigger radius of coverage than city mode. I find if it's in highway mode in the city, it goes off because it detects um, infrared video cameras and everyone's surveillance systems in their houses set the thing off. So we don't want that. So well, let's just drive around and see what we can get here. Okay. band detected in front. That's that traffic cam up there. Put it, put it, put it back to city mode or it'll keep going off. We are coming up to a speed trap. It's a radar detecting speed trap sign that tells you you're going too fast. Let's see if this radar detector shuts off. Way more that would have set it off a few blocks earlier. Yeah. Well, I went through a burger joint. Hey, I'm back. Well, the radar detector seems to work. I haven't actually uh, come across any speed traps yet to check it, but I know that it does go bananas when you uh, go through intersections that have um, speed trap cameras set up. So, um, hey, for $17 uh, Canadian, which is what the blue one is, they're on for $12.99 right now at uh, tmart.com. I'll have a link in the description. Not bad. They're illegal in Canada and a lot of parts of the U.S. and around the world. But to my knowledge, the illegal ones are, uh, they run on microwaves and the, the, the police are able to detect the detector. This runs on LED somehow. It's If I get a ticket, I'll let you all know. Okay. I hope you like this review, and we'll see you next time. Um, if you have any items that you want to have reviewed, your company, please uh, send them to the address that's going to be on the screen right now, and I will review them, give them an honest review. Hopefully it's favorable for your own company. I do quadcopters, I do instruments, I do all electronics, I do pretty much everything. Mainly electronics, but I'll see you next time.